Coming into the match of the day room with you two to start with is daunting. Seriously, I remember the producer Rich was like, scary, scary seat, do you know what I mean? So already I'm, I'm on edge. I'm thinking, do you know what I mean? I can't even sit in a seat for God's sake. Mitchell says, I'd like to know who have you been starstruck by the most uh, when meeting another player? Thierry Henry. Yeah. You know, he's just got that pizzazz. Is yeah. that the right word? Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi, yes. Yeah. Uh, and what a player. I was, yeah, I was playing for Man City at the time and then he was just in the tunnel. I was like, a, a, what, the, what the people who go out with their player, the mascot. Mm. I, was, I wasn't a mascot, but I felt like a mascot. Yeah. Just, I kept looking round and just, <laughs> I was in awe of the man. I was the same with Diego. Oh, Diego yeah. was, was exactly like that. But playing in that kind of friendly game with him once, the awe he had. You know, the players in the, that were playing that game, like, you know. Some, play, some players Zico just got that, don't they? Got cool these. and just. Yeah, but it's their ability as well, isn't it? It's added, I, because with the ability comes the aura. Don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, Alan? true. Uh, Pele. Pele. I was lucky enough to interview him yeah. in Rio, actually, in the World Cup. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, this is like. Because mm -hmm. we've been brought up on Pele being the best player ever, hasn't we? So. But having said that, I know we, we, we're moving on, but I, coming into the match of the day room with you two to start with is daunting. Seriously, you lot are legends of the game. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. And this is the last time I do this. But obviously. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> So when you come into Match of the Day and it's like, it's one of the best programs, isn't it? If you like football, Match of the Day is, is well, of course. It's one of the best out there. So the you, best, Mike, I think oh, you should say. Well, we work for other broadcasters. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to watch what I say. But you know, like, and you're not just there. So give people some insight. When you do Match of the Day, yeah. you don't just watch a couple of games and then pick out what you want. You're literally there from, I get there about, Quarter past 12, is it? The first mm. game's normally 12 yeah. 30, kick off. You get about quarter past 12. And I just remember the first time coming in, and Gary's always got his chair to the right. <laughs> and I remember like sitting there for a, a little while, because sometimes Gary comes, he's doing something else, or Alan's on radio, whatever. And I was just sat there, and I remember the producer, Rich, was like, it's Gary, Gary seat, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so already I'm, I'm on edge. <laughs> I'm thinking, do you know what I mean? I can't even sit in a seat, for God's sakes. No, you can. Well, no, I can't. No, I'm not saying I can't, but I mean, it's the respect levels. It's like going into a changing room for the first yeah. time. And then, like, just watching the games, but then, like, if you see some analysis, wanting to say, wait until Alan goes because he's the lead analyst on, on the programme, then obviously you've got to go and do your bits, and then you sort of left with Alan Shearer on his own. Do you know what do you say? <laughs> what, 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 what do you possibly say to Alan Shearer? Like, uh, what do you think? I mean, I can understand you walking in and looking at him thinking he's a miserable git. <laughs> but me, I mean, I was different and nice and welcome. No, you was, was both nice and welcome. Oh, but it's you. just the fact that yeah. you you have a certain standard. Match of the day is a creme de la creme. And you've got, you, you've got to be able to work on that programme as well. And you helped me out, of course you helped me out, but it's still daunting yeah. for the people that go on there. Yeah. You must understand that. I totally understand that. And we're going to take a break now. And in that break, you're going to get out of my f***ing chair. <laughs> <laughs>